but there are so many ways to get star jelly and in this video I'll tell you about the best of them. As you can see I have 1500 star jellies and also I spent 666 star jellies on the video and all these star jellies are received from these methods which I am to tell you about. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, 98.5% to my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, this is very bad statistic, I hope you subscribed and we can start the video, let's go. The first one and I think this is the best way to get star jelly is to play the stick box challenge, you need to get more than 10 million points, I think it's not very hard. And then it will give you a star jelly as a reward, it can be only one star jelly or it can be many at once, this depends on how many points you got. For example this is my bounty for 3.78 billion score, it's almost 3.8 billion score and I got only 4 14 star jelly, it's not fair to me. I did number 2 leatherboard and I got only 14 useless star jellies. Interesting fact. Namely made the stickback world record 7.82 billion score. He got 24 star jellies and also 147 oils. Wow. It's all information about star jelly from stickback. Let's move into the wild windy bee. You can get star jelly from wild windy bee. The higher the level of windy bee, the greater chance to get rare items. Personally, I get star jelly every time when I reach at least level 15. This method is much more difficult and slower than from the stick bug, but it's also good as for me. And wild windy bee gives you a lot of useful things, dices, a lot of tickets and sunflower seeds. For example, for killing level 13, you can get about 30 sunflower seeds and 4 to 6 tickets. If you get from level 5 to level 15 wild windy bee, you'll get somewhere around 35 tickets and more than 200 sunflower seeds. I recommend you to kill wild windy bee every day. You can obtain star jelly as a raw bear challenge reward. By the way, this is a really good way to get star jelly. Personally, I got 7 star jelly for the 19th round completed. I think this is a lot. But instead of star jelly, you can get many other things. Interesting fact, if you get star jelly on round 25, there will be 10 of them. Stump snail is a slow way to farm star jelly, and it's weird to kill stump snail for star jelly, but you can get 1 to 10 star jellies. I usually get 2 to 3 star jellies. And also star jelly drops for killing a coconut crab. In the beast from Phantom it's not really how much, but I think on average you'll get 3 to 4 star jellies. Let's check it right now. I got 6 star jellies for a coconut scrub drop, but I killed in 15 seconds. I know the faster you kill the coconut scrub, the better the drop will be. Let's check it from another account now and see the difference. And yeah, I was killing for 5 minutes with this a lot of trash and I got only 1 star jelly. There are also 5 or 6 star jellies hidden on a whole map. If you don't need the useful information, rewind to... I'm, I'm editing this part right now and I don't know for how long. And the first star jelly is on a blender in the store with the sprinklers. If my memory serves me, you need to buy these boots to get star jelly token. The second star jelly located really close to the first. You literally need 2 seconds to get it. The third star jelly is at the back side of the dapper bear's shop, and you need the knight to get there. The next star jelly in the gummy bear location. Here it is, just take it. If you wanna get the fifth star jelly, you need to reach 35 bees, and after you go through this junk shop, you'll get to a secret room, and yes, here is star jelly. This room is already a year and a half old and I still haven't opened it. If I remember, there is star jelly. But it's not accurate, if you need this, watch some guys on how to get there. Informative fact, you can get a star jelly token when you collect pollen on a field. It seems like it will just drop out from the field, wow. I personally didn't know about it, but it's a little garbage information, it's just terrible. Bro, the little chat. Uh, so yeah, now maybe the mid game players will love me so much, I'ma tell you how to get 15 star jellies for free. Wind Shrine, and yes, if you reach a certain badge, you can get a nice reward in the Wind Shrine. Oh my god, bro, you're very cool, just take the reward. Now I'll show you a lot of information, get ready to record, and just in case it works only one time. While you're doing a screenshot, can you tell me what type of video you'd like to see on my channel? Guys for mid game, maybe guys all about challenges? Robot challenge, stickbox challenge, or something? Or even you'd like to see some world records? On the cheek, yes, star jelly can drop on this chicken, so please kill them on the cheek always. King Bilu and Tunnel Bear, star jelly drops the rare chance, so I recommend you to take a baby love token before killing them. Also I advise you to always break a rare, golden, legendary, moon and supreme sprout, star jelly can also drop on this type of sprout. An interesting fact, the chance that you'll spawn a supreme sprout is 0.05%, it's just once in 2000. Personally I broke it only one time, it was a long time ago for the special sigma quest. You, did you ever break a supreme sprout? Ticket planter, star jelly can drop from ticket planter, so plant them. 
You can obtain Star Jelly from Puff Shops, it's very rare and if I didn't forget it, it can only drop from Golden, Legendary and Mythic Puff Shops. Mythic Meteor Flower Star Jelly is a rare drop from it, but still, don't give up, farm meteors. Bro, what is that? I just got it. Star Jelly from Sparkles, these are such funny things on the field. Or from Fireflies, I even got this, if I'll find a screenshot, I'll show you. Star Jelly also drops on the passive planter, quite often by the way, so what are you waiting for? Blend them right now! Star Jelly is a rare drop from the festive gift, but only if the festive bee is gifted, by the way you can get the festive bean from the festive bee gift.